Hi, this is Chuck with Nerd3D. In this tutorial, we're going to cover editing morphs in place. Specifically, we're going to edit morphs in clothing that is supposed to match the full body morphs in the target figure. Now, I've got LaFemme loaded, and this is her, her bra top. And before you even start looking for poke throughs in morphs in places where morphs didn't copy well when you use the copy morphs command on the figure menu, you want to turn off subdivision in both the target figure and the clothing item. So pick the figure in the body and on the properties tab, which is right here, go down to the subdivision levels and set that to zero. Do the same thing for the clothing item. Now you may notice that there's some poke throughs that have already showed up here. And I've got the morph that I want to work with already dialed in, but let me show you how to select that. Select the body of the target figure and as you dial your morph, you'll find one that doesn't necessarily match the way as well as you would like it to. So I want to edit the breast height morph, but of course we need to edit it in the clothing. So we need to find the same morph over there. I'm going to select the bra top and I'm going to find the breast height morph. Click the little triangle next to the morph and click edit morph. This will open the morphing tool with that morph already selected. Now it may say zero here, but the morph is being controlled by the figure itself. So even though the strength of the morph says zero, it actually is applied. I want to show you something here. If I turn the subdivision back on, the place I want to fix, I can't see the mistake. This is why you need to have the subdivision off when you're working on matching your morphs. Okay, so let's take a look at exactly how we're going to do this. There are several tools that we can use to fix this, and in this case, the push and pull brushes are going to be the, the weapons of choice. You could also use the tight and fit brush, but for this one, pull is going to get it. Now we need to have the brush set up correctly for it to do what we want it to do. Probably one of the most important ones is going to be the average normals. What average normals does is it takes the average normal direction of all the vertexes influenced, and that's the direction it's going to move when you use the morph tool. That's important in this case because the straps are three-dimensional. And if we didn't average the normals, the vertexes down here on the side of the straps would go sideways when the ones on top went up. That's not what we want. You'll want the brush set to a very low strength. That's the magnitude dial here. And also a small area. because so I just want to touch this area just a little bit. And you can see just the tiniest stroke of the brush is all it takes to fix this. Now, while we're here looking at this, there's a little bit of zigzagginess in the morph right here. And I'm going to switch into the screen mode here. And this, this is, if you have like ZBrush or a similar program, the screen mode is kind of like the move brush in ZBrush, where the surface mode is like the standard tool in ZBrush. So with the screen mode, I'm going to move the vertexes basically parallel to the surface of the screen. That way I can fix this spot fairly easily. Now, I've got my brush set too large. And when you're working on details like this, you're going to be working with tiny little brushes. So I can fix that little zigzag right there. And while we're here, let's take a look at this spot right here. We've got a different kind of poke through. We've got a nice flat surface to work with. In this case, you can use the Titan Fit brush. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, why would I tighten this? It's already too tight. The Titan Fit brush is aware of the figure that's underneath of it. So I can pick from this menu right here, the target figure. The poke through margin is the distance that the clothing item is going to hover above the target figure. And once again, we want to use a very small number here. So I'm going to take my Titan Fit brush, make it a little bit smaller, so I'm only affecting the area where there's a poke through, and just give it a tiny little stroke right there, and that's going to fix our poke through in that spot. Now, the other side hasn't been fixed yet, but we have a symmetry tool. But before we make the symmetry move, let's make sure that this morph still works in both directions, because this particular morph dials both positive and negative. So I'm going to go back to the, the base figure and make sure that the morph works in both directions, because sometimes it is a trade-off. So I'm going to dial this as far negative as it will go, still looks good. Dial it as far positive as it will go, still looks good. Let's go back to the conforming figure and mirror, 
right to left. Now, right here, we got a spot that didn't copy well. That's okay. In fact, if you look closely, it's in this side too. And this is good because sometimes when you mirror the morphs, it's going to reveal mistakes. But it's very easy to fix. We already still have the Titan fit. A little stroke there, and a little one there, and it's fixed. Let's double check and make sure that it still works negative. Dial it all the way down. Dial it all the way up. So now let's take a look at this with subdivision turned back on. Go to the figure, turn subdivision on. The bra and turn subdivision on. Now all you have to do is save your clothing item back to the library and any changes you've made to the morphs will be saved with the new figure file. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.